bitch not only it's your bitch go, it's the motherfucking hip hop lab, nigga. Chris the check, that's the deal. What's going on, my niggas? Man, it's all the stuff for the people not here to the movement and who is crispy track to them a little more familiar. Well, uh, first off, I'm a producer, and uh, that's why I do go by the name Crispy Tracks. You know, I've been rapping since high school, and you know, just fast forward, niggas started really jumping into it seriously in 2008. That's when I dropped Major Bitches One, you know, like my first mixtape. And I was basically using music, you know, to promote myself and just work it like that. And, uh, you know, just fast forward, many mixtapes came in between, and uh, now I'm dropping my first album, Major Bitches Two. And uh, that'll be March 22nd. It's okay. the official day. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, how would you describe yourself for the people who might not know Crispy Tracks? How would you describe that song? Well, uh, I'm big on like creativity. You know what I'm saying? So, those bars, like, I like going bar for bar. You know, just challenging myself to put together the best shit that I can spit. You know, like, I make sure that I put effort into writing my music and, like, record my shit. You know, it's a time and place for everything. You may have to slow it down and do certain kind of records, you know. That's part of the music business, but I like to rap. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I, I definitely got that street shit in there. You know, that angry bullshit that we all love to hear. You know, I got some motivational shit in there. I'm dropping some knowledge in there. So I try to cover all like areas, you know. I don't want to just stay stuck on one topic or that kind of shit. So yeah, man, that street shit, that mature shit, because street niggas do mature, you Most know. Definitely. So and even being that, being like a person that come from that, a person that did mature coming out there, you gotta make music from both sides. So we're still niggas, still something dope, still in the, still in the trap, doing their thing, and still hit licks, whatever they got going. They want to hear some shit to keep them going. You know, I mean, you still gotta relate to them and make music for them. But at the same time, there's niggas who came from that that just wanna be like a different vibe. You gotta hit that area too. Yeah, you know? what, 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 what I can say, me, me speaking myself, you know what I'm saying, from my personal experience from working with you, you definitely do good business. No doubt. You feel Appreciate that. Like, like I'm big on that. I'm big on that. Yeah, yeah, on yeah, that. yeah. For sure, for sure, bro. So, what do you feel like is stopping you from being that next level of success with your career? Man, um, when I first started, I didn't know nothing. You know, I started KTP in 2008, and just, I had to make myself a rapper. Like, overnight I was a rapper because I made that happen. I bought studio equipment that I didn't know how to use, and shit, I went to the jury store, got a chain, a watch, some earrings, and nigga, I had already registered my business maybe days between that. Mm -hmm. You couldn't tell me shit, nigga. I was an overnight boss, so I had to figure out how, how am I gonna do this shit? I got the money to do it. You know, so I had the whole, this whole time has been a teaching experience in myself and learning experience. I'm learning just from bumping my head, that kind of shit. So I started out trying to do this shit with basically like a group, you know what I mean? My people, it was five of us. And um, that's what kind of composed KTP. But I put a lot of effort and time and resources into that. And it didn't end up panning out how I needed it to, you know, but I learned a lot doing it. And so I kind of sat back and dropped shit here and there just really like study the game, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't have a big homie, I don't have a nigga to go to or nobody to put me on, like, and the fact that she even mentioned I do good business, like, I've done a lot of business with people on the city, that kind of shit, and, you know, I'm big on making sure that's right first, you know, so I don't, I'm just not out here just moving sloppy, man, and, and begging for handouts, I'm just not that type of nigga. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I so appreciate start that. Start doing yourself, and that's mainly the answer to the question, so. Mm -hmm. So who do you want to collaborate with? Do you want to necessarily have the chance to collaborate with yet from Detroit? Hmm. Uh, well, just to touch on Major Bitches real quick, because Major Bitches 2, um, my album, I had three features on there. Mm -hmm. And I got Big Herc on there. I got uh, Nisha Deshae on there. Them two on the same song on my new single called uh, Tell a Friend. Matter of fact, that's on Spotify title and all the streaming services right now. Tell a Friend. Just, Search Crispy Tracks, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can see that. Definitely follow me, you know what I'm saying? On the gram and Twitter, definitely, for sure, for sure. But yeah, um, I also got Stretch Money on the joint on there, you know, so I actually wanted to get Dusty on this album. I definitely wanted to, you know what I'm saying, get a song in with him for the album, but 
you know, I kind of reached out to him and I, I didn't get the response. So that's another thing. I don't have a lot of, like, all the connections that I made with people have been, you know, me doing it. You know, so, and, like, I got a lot of connections, like, <laughs> like, all the DJs in the city. Most of the DJs, like, I fuck with them, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Know my name and number, man, type shit. Matter of fact, like, I just bumped into Big Girl Blast a couple days ago. Shout out Blast. Uh, um, I got to send him that single, too, that tell a friend, so. Hey, just shit like that, man. Uh, uh, right now, I'm just focused on bidding me up, though, so I'm not really looking to do more features with other people. Yeah. Um, if somebody want to do one with me, I mean, that's amazing. You know, like, I'm all for, like, I got love for all the Detroit artists, you know, and, like, I respect everybody doing their, their thing because we could be doing some other shit, and it takes a lot to do music, so I already know what goes behind it, so for somebody that's put in the work and put that together, man, I respect it, you know, but, so I know you're a producer and you made these well. Who was some other producer that, that you have featured on some of your projects? Or that you want to feature on some of your projects? Well, I definitely want to be from Hello. You know, and on Major Business too, I produced the whole thing, every track. And I want to be from Hello, but right now I can't get a beat from Hello. You know what I'm saying? And that's a compliment to him because right now, what he's doing is too great, and I don't want that to outshine what I got going on as far as me being a producer. I need to get my light and my respect as that first, you know, before I jump on the hell of a beat. Because, you know, I could be doing my thing, and then, you know, who knows, the hell of a beat around be that hit, which would still be amazing. There's nothing wrong with that, but he's known for that. And so I just need to be great on my own first before I come to hell of a beat, you know what I'm saying? That's mainly a compliment to him. So. That's deep. That's deep. So, bro, uh, everybody who's been supporting Crispy Tracks up to this point, everybody who's been to the movement since you really started from the beginning, everybody who's been on, you know, is going to keep staying to each other movement. If you can directly talk to all of them right now, what would you say to them? Man, I definitely want to say thank you to everybody that had been rocking with me since day one or day two or whatever day that she started fucking with me. You know, I was just checking the um, the actual sales and streaming numbers for telling friend of the day, and like, you know, like that shit is, it's humbling, man. Like, it's a, it's a beautiful thing just seeing that shit turn around like that, you know. But, of course, it's far from where I needed to be. Like, you know, I'm going for platinum and gold records and that kind of shit, and multi platinum. So, I still need everybody to stream, tell a friend, and just stream that bitch, like, you know, and, uh, you know, keep it for yourself, you know, and, you know, get a copy of it. Just for personal, you know, for personal records that you have. So, um, hey, but I appreciate every view on YouTube and everything, every follow, every like, every whatever. Like, thank y'all for that shit. You know, uh, that's for keeping it going and, you know, keep me motivated to put out more music and just to expand. So, thank y'all. Hey, I appreciate you reaching out for the interview, bro. We gotta do more work. You feel me? Like I said, you was a good business. And I like the shot I'm hearing from you. I mean, I hope everybody watching this interview. Make sure y'all tune in and stay tuned. Crispy Tracks, follow me on all social media platforms at Crispy Tracks. And this right here is the hip hop lab, man. It's Nando, your vision, all that stuff. Bitch, you got the period.